Hi, everyone. Okay, my name is Roger, and today we are going to be talking about you don't know your limit until you reach your eyes. And if you like this kind of topic, we got plenty in the in Roger's Way and Adventure. So be sure to subscribe and press that little bell so you get notifications. And as uh, per usual, now we're going to be talking with Frankie Kington. You don't know your limit until you reach your eyes. Often we say that we've got unlimited power, unlimited possibility within ourselves, but over time limits are being put in front of us either by our parents not necessarily in a in a mischievous way because they want to protect us and or other by our peers and stuff like that oh it's not for you you can't do this you can't do that that kind of thing so that's the first kind of obstacle we need to uh, move so that we can we can prove them wrong basically there are quite a lot of stories like that when people prove somebody else wrong you know see I've done it but anyway how far can we go how do we know how far we can go how do we know that how we find out frankly have you got any idea how do we know how far we can go and then it's obviously even more difficult i suppose because we live uh, most of the world live in confinement uh, in one way or another so how do we know how do we know hi rosie it's a good it's a good question rosie it's a good topic to talk about i think it's really important that we keep learning be a lifelong student it's really important that we become a lifelong student because with that attitude the more you learn the more you earn so I honestly believe that becoming a lifelong student, you learn as much as you can for your life to be the best person that you can be. If you're learning all the time, you can be earning with that, but then you're expanding your life, aren't you, Roger? You're learning more to absorb and take into your life. Like myself and you, I want to become a professional expert or product. And for me to do that, I have to keep learning, practicing, growing, tenacious efforts, consistency, ruthless consistency, is going to help me go to my limits and go even higher. As they say, as leaders or thought leaders, or a mentor or a coach, we want to make sure our victory is to make sure the mentee, the coachee, or our prodigies go even higher than what we know, or even learn more than what we know, because they're the ones that are going to be going on leading the next generation as we get older and move on to the next line. So I think it's really important, Rosie, yeah, the art of what we teach people will show whether they've learned anything from us, that they can go to higher limits. That is what a thought leader and leadership is about, Rosie, is making sure that our prodigies or the people that have been mentoring or coaching go higher than what we can achieve, because we want them to achieve more than what we've done. That is our victory, Roger. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. So to help people to go even higher than we can do ourselves. Yeah, I mean, it's like, uh, for example, but that's a good point because when I was coaching table tennis at the Bolton Las Angers Club a long time ago now, and it was, uh, I had actually a discussion with some of the players, the young players, they were young people, and uh, one of them in in the, in their mind, and I don't know how to put it, but in their mind, they were thinking, oh, in, in their mind, they, they, they couldn't beat the coach, which was me. But I said to them, on the contrary, I want you to beat me. And as soon as, yeah, the sooner will be the, the sooner will be the better. I want you to beat me. And then, so they couldn't quite understand it at first, but I think it's that the penny is starting to, I said, for a start, I am a, a lot older than you are, so my abilities and reflexes are going to slow down while yours are going to go up. You, your reflexes and your ability to, to do think it's good to go it's good to be on the rise and then I've explained that uh, I've given other examples uh, of uh, people uh, players coaching and stuff like that and sometimes you have uh, there was an example in one sport I can remember which one it was I think it was in France where a coach never as such play the sport he was coaching but was a very good coach at it so I mean so that's uh, just an example but it, it, it does show that we are here whether it's in sport or in other areas of our life to inspire people to reach new eyes to push themselves to push the boundaries so you can see the uh, one of the videos I would suggest you watch is how to live at the edge of, our, of your comfort zone that's in the suggested video popping up and anyway so that's what we got to do because otherwise we just limit ourselves now in confinement it's probably even more difficult I suppose to actually see that there is still up at the end of the tunnel there is still uh, winters always turns into spring spring is going to come it's true we don't we're not quite sure when spring is going to Come, but it's going to and so the about the after this pandemic winter and i must admit i must admit the uk is doing wonderful wonderfully with regards to vaccine the third one is being developed by this country
country. But I think uh, countries should work together because it's a global problem. What can we do? Right, there is a quote that from Nelson Mandela. He says, I either win or learn and never lose. Exactly, Roger. And I feel that part in the past, as we reminisce with nostalgia, in the past, these pandemics have happened before. Think of the plagues. Think of all the, you know, the... Yeah, in history, they did four or five... Bars, yeah, yeah. Counts disease, Ebola, even AIDS, all these different diseases. We've always found a way and the means to overcome them or to fight them. Yeah. So I think we have to keep the faith, honestly believe as entrepreneurs and being successful. We have to find the skills to be successful, the skills to serve people in so any is, condition, so, in any situation. Does that make sense, Roger? Yeah, it does. What I would say to, to people out there, while you are in confinement and in isolation on one way or, or another, and that can't be termed is easy because I don't find it easy, but we can take the, this opportunity to learn something, to learn something new, and we can use that when we come out of it. And then perhaps keep this a bit going. Once we're out of it, we don't have to stop learning, do we? We just carry on learning. And then, for example, one other thing I've been doing while uh, uh, living in Lava is up update or upgrade my, my skills at um, YouTube, for example. And I know I've still uh, quite a way to go, but the point is, if I hadn't done anything, I probably would not even be talking to Funky tonight because I have become a, a, a relatively okay, good amateur in as far as it is concerned. But if I had done anything whatsoever, I don't know how to put it, um, maybe I would not even start it. <laughs> so it's important that we keep learning. And sometimes, yeah, it can be tedious. But the point is, that if, if we don't make any effort, we won't even enjoy the, uh, the results of, of, of it. You really hit on something there, Rosé, about the first step. And I honestly believe the first step is the most important step. It's a journey we go on after that. It's the skills we develop. People have to understand. You see, what it is, Rosé, people have to get people into the right mindset of what success is. And yes. embrace everything else on that journey. Because reaching to where we want to reach, whether it's a goal or a determination, it's a journey that we have to go on. So along this journey... We meet all types of interesting people, all types of hiccups and hurdles and bumps along the way, which help us grow. So, you know, people have to get the mindset to say, I I have the courage to take the first step. That could be the crucial step to where I need to go. And the rest is about me learning. We yeah. learn to become successful, Roger. We learn to become thought leaders. We learn to become entrepreneurs. We learn and we practice and we grow. It's important that Roger. It is. can't have everything straight away. We've got to learn how to be where we need to be to teach others that as well, how we've grown. Because we don't develop into these strong people, these strong characters with charisma and capability. So I would like to add something on that. We need to learn. So Nelson Mandela said earlier, as I, well, he said earlier, he said that before, well earlier, <laughs> but Ali, Ali mentioned that I either win or learn and never lose. Right. And there is also one thing I would like to add to this is that we must not fail to implement what we are learning. So, for example, if you are learning about a program, let's say Snapper, I think Snapper, to, to add picture and then other like Pixabel and what's the other one? Pixabay. Yeah. A, a, a lot of pictures there are being shared by, by a lot of by the users. And then we can use them to do our video. So, why not? in the next video, for example, to use some of those pictures as a way to implement that you know how to use it. It's a, it's a simple example because that's important to me. So we need to learn, use this free time we have and, um, and implement what we're learning. Because uh, a, a good example of that, can you imagine a medical student, if, if they didn't implement what they were learning, we all be dead. So a surgeon who's learning about, to do, about doing uh, uh, heart uh, operation, for example, or heart transplant, if they're not going to implement what they are learning, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't like to be the guy or the person in which, on which they operate. And that's obvious to us because it's a doctor, they've got to implement it. There is no choice. But I think for us, we should, we should treat what we learn in the same way. Okay. Very really vital. Really yeah. vital information, Roger. Very really vital information. So we have to implement what we learn. If we don't implement it, we don't get results. Yeah. How can we be this person who can reach higher limits? 
Yeah, so oh, oh, with the Eagles. Yeah, absolutely. Playing with the Eagles, as John, uh, the late. I don't need to say, I was going to scratch for the turkeys. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking, but it's important to you that we're flying high. It's high flying bird. It's high flying knowledge and wisdom. I'm big yeah. to you now. Yeah. So, okay, guys. So, what I would like to leave you with uh, you tonight. Take the opportunity to learn something new during this pandemic and even keep the appeal going afterwards when, once uh, the uh, spring is coming back and also learn, but also learn and implement what you've learned. Okay? And then can you imagine what would happen to a patient if the surgeon didn't actually implement what is learned or even maybe or for example, you're learning a language Spanish because you want to go to and live in Spain, and then you know all about it. But once you get there, you don't implement what you've learned, then you might get lost and you'll be back to written. <laughs> okay. Well, it's like the doctor, isn't it? Yeah. If the doctor's not implementing what he's learning, he's not going to cure anybody, he's going to help anybody. No, exactly. Like, like the car will say, if you don't implement what we've learned and how to drive our car, we can't get anywhere. Oh, that's good. That's even a simpler example. If if we don't implement what we've learned to drive our car, so you know, the, 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 you know where the clutch is and then the brakes are and that kind of thing. And then if 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 you if you just get the pedal mixed up, then obviously it's not going to work. That means you wouldn't have implemented what you've learned. So let's just do it in all areas of our lives. Okay, guys. So are you ah, you want to add something, Frankie? I can see that with the more you. you learn, the more you learn. Yeah. Okay, learn, implement, and the more you learn, the more you earn. So, thank you guys. That again, press that little bell and support us uh, in growing this channel, Rogers One and Adventure. Thank you very much, and see you next time, Frankie. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, guys. Bye bye.